Review time, pot. So Brendan Hunt makes a video about me. And now when he sees this video, he's gonna probably think to himself, yes, this is what I wanted. Now, nah, Brendan, I don't think this is what you wanted. Now in the video, it looks like he has a problem with me not taking a full official stance against Wolfgang Howbig. And y'all know the videos I put out. I put out a whole bunch of videos about Wolfgang Howbig and I realize people don't wanna hear about Wolfgang Howbig, but I guess you don't understand that because you keep making videos about it. So I stopped making the videos about him and not only for that reason, but because I realized something strange was going on when you talked about Wolfgang Howbig. And that was with the trolls, the fake accounts. They were either really strong for Wolfgang or they were really strong against Wolfgang. And I know how those trolls talk. They talk in a very strange robotic nature that the average person doesn't talk like. They try to be overly intelligent or some of them just downright rude. It's a combination of things, but I've seen a lot of them. I noticed the patterns. I didn't like the way it was going. I did not want to be a part of this. I did not want to push whatever little agenda is being pushed through this whole situation. So when he came to me on Facebook talking about, oh, I see you joined the Wolfgang How Big train. I told him, I said, I'm not on anybody's train. Whatever he ends up doing, that will be on him. We can still use the story of school safety expert question Sandy Hook to expose the whole hoax because as you know, that's where the whole 34 questions came from. Saying that alone, we're bringing people to take a second look at the hoax. Think about it. Let's see here. Brandon Hunt says Sandy Hook is a hoax. Uh, Team Wake em Up says Sandy Hook is a hoax. Uh, Jail Bush appointed school safety expert says Sandy Hook is a hoax. Okay, well maybe more people who don't originally look at this type of stuff will look into it because of that. For example, you see here, Jail Bush appointee claims Newtown never happened. Now this is a hit piece, of course, and yeah, you got these stupid fake trolls, but I'm talking about the regular people who see that and say, what, Jail Bush appointee? The people who voted for Bush, they're gonna be like, well, why did he say that? And they go look it up and find out it was fake. People can wake up. Again, if Wolfgang does something stupid, that is on him. That has nothing to do with all the hard work I done put in or anybody else. So let's look at what is really going on with this situation. Brendan Hunt says, Manify goes on to insult the only one making sense on this thread showing his true colors. And that was me responding to some guy on the Sandy Hook Clothes Facebook page. So let's see here. This is the guy Brendan Hunt says is making the most sense. John Blythe. Why ignore evidence of multiple shooters such as why the Honda passenger doors were wide open with black hoodies on the ground? He talking about Sandy Hook right now, y'all. But well, we have this. No, that happens to be my theory because I've studied the police reports and the evidence. What evidence? Multiple witnesses describe different shooters. Some wearing camo pants, some wearing fatigues. The police also describe a bloody mess of children killed. I'm not so sure that dozens of police officers could be in on a conspiracy of that sort, even though we know the $27 million hush money. More likely until a real investigation takes place is that Adam was set up with a killing and multiple gunmen got away just in time. You see that? There's more. Tony Mead, how dare you? I was sent on a wild goose chase by the cousin as well. The Boston bombing think tank debunked all talk of fake victims. Who the heck are they? Thoroughly and for months and months. We discovered evidence that Tamerlan was an employee of the CIA and was married to a skull and bones daughter. Even the uncle saw and I was a CIA spook. Really? Now who made a video on this? I asked Danny about that. Everyone here knows Boston was as fake as Sandy Hook. And here goes John Blight. Go right ahead and ask Danny. She will tell you that those theories have been debunked. Those theories, in my opinion, are designed to hurt the real truth movement and get the public mad at the truth is. Oh, the real truth movement? Okay, whatever. We suspect that Boston was a false flag, but that real victims were killed and hurt. And this is the thing that I saw, and that made me actually come into the whole chat. I wasn't even doing that. I came on Facebook, and then I heard, doo doo. And then I heard him say, we suspect that Boston bombing was a false flag, but that real victims were killed. And I said, who the heck is this joker in the Sandy Hook clothes Facebook page 
telling these lies. So I put up this video. This is how everyone survived the Boston Marathon bombing. PK22 did this video. Worked really hard on the video. And this is what I get. Wow. And that is why the truth movement has lost credibility in the eyes of the general public. Those videos proving fake victims are trash. And that's pretty much all I have to hear from him. All that hard work just for him to say it's trash when it does prove that there are fake victims. And Brendan Hunt says this is making sense. The same jokers who talk like this who say, oh, we're going to lose so much credibility by saying that there were fake victims at the Boston Marathon bombing are the same ones always talking about what the truth movement should do. Let me tell all you jokers something. I'm not in the truth movement. So whatever you say, it does not even apply to me. I don't go by none of y'all rules because I refuse to be put in a dang box. The way y'all jokers have been surviving is with this crap. You've been infiltrating when certain things happen and you say, well, if you talk about this, if you associate with a certain person and don't tell me that ain't the truth because I received the emails constantly telling me you can't talk to this person, talk to that person, or you're going to lose credibility. You can't make a video about this. You're going to lose credibility. Forget y'all jokers. It ain't going to work on me. I'm tired of y'all little games and I don't care how nice you are to me. I don't care how many nice compliments you give me. If you are lying to people, you trying to manipulate me to do something or say something that I know is not right I'm blocking and deleting your tail and with all due respect of your hard work names not Mary I'm not calling any of these events enhanced I'm not calling the Santa Barbara shooting an enhanced event because it's straight up ridiculous she want to say that calling something a hoax is gonna somehow make all of the truth movement look bad gonna make all of the hard work she put in look bad and discredit it uh -uh, i'm not going along with that that is that pre-2012 stuff and i'm not even sure where that originated from it probably originated from these dang trolls like me calling something a hoax is a big problem when you got these jokers like anderson cooper calling out james tracy in front of everybody but you know what it still wasn't as effective as they thought it was you got them staging sandy hook truthers still in signs with the true love joker you got them sending out jared miller to pull off a hoax saying that conspiracy theorists want to start a revolution at cc's pizza and they still fail at their job of discrediting the truth but as far as this whole truth movement y'all can have your truth movement matter of fact just give me the truth and i'll get going y'all gotta understand they need you to be in these groups this is how they've been controlling this movement for so long they say well this is the movement this is what the movement does they send their people in and they manipulate people to go one way manipulate people to go the other way if you want to be free from this crap, you have to be an individual. So whatever happens, it's based on you. Look at these jokers here. What looks like a manufactured situation to me. You get the one guy versus Brendan Hunt. Now, the one guy is supposed to be a Sandy Hook truther. He's pro wolf gang. He comes off with this childlike innocence. He's just looking for the truth and just want to share the truth with you. But then at the same time, he thinks Wade's viz is a reasonable guy. Now, you could either think, oh, this guy is really, really open-minded and open to the possibilities, gullible, or is deceiving. I'm gonna go with the deceiving part because I know Waze Vids is the deceiving individual. As a matter of fact, he came on the scene as a deceiving individual. People were thinking that he is probably some Sandy Hook truther putting out these videos and they, and they were confused. They were like, well, wait a minute, what is he doing? I don't understand this. Is he saying it's real? People were confused with Ways Viz and that was his whole purpose. He wanted to come off as somebody who was just asking the questions, just presenting something so people can see when he was just presenting a lie. And I don't have time for lies. Speaking of lies, this same one guy believes the Santa Barbara hoax is real. Talking about some, you know what guys, I really don't know about this one. You know, we could, we could look bad calling this one a hoax. When you say Sandy Hook was fake. In the general eyes, saying Sandy Hook is fake is going to look crazy until they see the same things we have seen. And there's plenty of stuff showing that Santa Barbara is a hoax. So anybody else saying that is real is straight up lying. And I don't trust you for one second. And you get this same one guy bickering at Brendan Hunt, who is a Sandy Hook truther. But, oh, he is anti-Wolfgang. And both of these guys have strong views on Wolfgang. Anti-Wolfgang. But check this out. He works with Wade's Viz 
to create videos. Now there you go, you get the Wade's Vids link again. And this same guy believes people died at the Boston bombing and Sandy Hook need I say anymore. So you get these two fake jokers pulling and tugging people to either be pro Wolf Gang or anti Wolf Gang. You have to be for or against. And then let's not forget the many trolls with either strong pro Wolf Gang or anti Wolf Gang stance. And when I was doing those Wolf Gang videos, I was getting a lot of those strange comments and it was very off putting. So that is why I'm staying away from this Wolf Gang situation. If he exposes Sandy Hook, great. If he doesn't, Oh well.